Yo, what's up? My name is Brandon Rodriguez and I decided to do my TED Talk on the negative effects of cell phone use. As you guys know, the innovation of the cell phone has led to many new advances in how we communicate with one another, but more importantly, what it has done in the way we live and go about our lives has caused a negative and dangerous effect on many of us. Now, when I say negative effects of a cell phone, probably you guys are looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? I love my cell phone. My cell phone keeps me in talk to with my friends, my family, my boyfriend or girlfriend, and even the police if I ever need them for an emergency or if I am in danger. Now, like I did say, the cell phone has brought a lot of positive, new, found ways for us to communicate. But at the same time, it's also brought a lot of negative things. We have kids who are cyberbullying. We have kids who are, who are paying more attention to their phones than they are to their family. And then we have kids lowering their GPA scores because of them being on their phones so much. The main issue I want to get at today is people using their phone while driving. Now, as we all know, plenty of people use their phone to text at a stoplight or look at Twitter or even go on Facebook. It's a very, very dangerous thing, but at the same time, it's also very preventable. The quick clip I'm about to show you is just one of the many different ad commercials that car companies put out to stop kids and adults from using their phones while driving. As you guys just saw from that quick video, you're never supposed to be on your phone while you're driving. Your eyes should be directly on the road and the road itself. You're not only endangering your life, but the life of another that you might have in the car. It's never a good idea to go on your phone and pick up an answer, a call when it could wait, or you can go on Facebook and Twitter when there's a stoplight, or maybe you just want to go ahead and drive and look at your phone. Like That's not a good idea, not recommended, and a lot of people die each year because of this. If you can't picture yourself in the passenger seat while your friend gets distracted by his phone, whether it's from a text message, a call, or from Facebook or Twitter, check this video out. Maybe it'll change your mind. Come on, bro. Put away your phone. You're not supposed to have your phone while you're driving. Shut up, Graham, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> We're driving, dude. We're going like 60 miles an hour. I can do whatever I want. Jesus, no. Jesus, watch out for- Alright, as you guys can tell, I'm not a ghost and I'm still alive. That was just a quick example of how dangerous it could be for someone to check their phone for any reason while they're driving. It's very dangerous and I don't think anybody should ever do it. So right now you're probably asking yourself, so what can we do? What is the probable solution that we can come up with to stop not just only adults but mostly kids who are going on Facebook and Twitter and going on these social type of media websites on their phone while they're driving? How can we stop this from happening? Okay, so in 2011, February 5th, Facebook teamed up with Chevy Cruise to build a whole new way so people could go on their Facebook without having to go into their cell phones. Facebook came across with the challenge with, with, well, how can we get people to find out what's going on with their friends or the posts people are posting on Facebook without getting them to actually go on their cell phones and find that out? The solution? Well, here it is. Good evening. What would you like to do? Facebook news feed. First post. Jennifer French. Best first date ever. The all new Chevy Cruze with real time Facebook status updates. When the good news just can't wait. Alright, now in the US alone, 2,600 people die each year because of car related accidents due to their cell phones. Now, 330,000 people get injured also due to cell phone car related car accidents. Now think about that number decreasing if all cars in America had the system that Chevy Cruze has. Now I know a lot of kids and teenagers are the mainly one of the ones who go on Twitter and Facebook but as you just saw a lot of adults still use Facebook. It's still a very popular website around any community group. So what I think is that every car should come with a system that way they would press the button and every text or news feed that they would get would be reading off to them that way their hands would be directly on the wheel focused on the street where it should be and a lot of lives would be more safe this is my ted talk thank you my name is brandon rodriguez peace yo <laughs>